Sagittarius, hello my loves and welcome back to the channel. We are going to tap into your October 2022 monthly reading. Supreme gratitude for your support and clicking on the video, okay? Make sure you like the video, drop a comment below and hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to all so you can be notified when I upload a video, okay? Um, <clears throat> you could have Sagittarius in your sun, moon, rising, Venus or North Node, right? We're going to do a four week preview. And then, of course, we'll dive deeper into it throughout the month, okay? All right, your first week, you have poverty. Second week, you have child. Third week, you have expectation. Fourth week, you have distant horizons. <laughs> okay, so you guys may have money issues or coming about uh, trying to, to move around money issues. Some of you guys are expecting a child or your child is expecting a child. Okay, um, heavy decisions here. Some of you guys just had a child. Okay, heavy decisions being made and weighed on your current life status right now. All right, let's clarify poverty for the first week. Okay. Queen of Swords. So some of you guys, your business is not doing well. You're having issues when it comes to business life. Okay? Your energy is right here. Some of you guys are without or feeling some type of way. You're without someone in your life and you're feeling it. Some of you guys um, are in separation with an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. And you're feeling like this person was everything and you've lost everything. Um, like if this person was your everything, you're feeling lost without them. <clears throat> okay? But I feel like you're having patience with something <laughs> you're having a lot of patience with something okay you're being very resilient um in what this is that you're doing rather in a relationship or business you're 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 sticking with it all right with the devil energy here that you could have some type of addictions or some type of addictive behavior with spending money okay please watch your money i'm hearing that Okay, so if this is in business it's something that you can change about yourself to make your business flow better with the four of cups here i feel like you're missing something. You're missing something. It's a message and you're missing it. Okay, let's clarify. Child, shame. So, a lot of reflection in the first week. I feel like you're forcing yourself to feel a way. You're forcing yourself to uh, be in a certain energy because of whatever you've deemed to be, it be to be best. Okay, so a child here. You got Queen of Cups in reverse, High Priestess in reverse, King of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you guys are with someone because of a child. But it's like you could be experiencing spiritual blockage. King of Pentacles in reverse, Queen of Cups in reverse. Like there's no love in this situation. It's not somebody that you really want to be with. Like the, the pretense of you being in a situation is strictly for a child. You, you can have a child with this person. And the high priestess is in reverse because that should that should not be what you're doing here. This is not vibrating at your highest energy. This is not somebody here is a spiritual worker, and you are not vibrating where you need to be. You are in demonic energy. <laughs> 
your money's not right. So if you're having issues with your money, with, with, with your finances, you're having these issues because you are doing something. It's nobody doing anything to you. I feel like you're challenged and you're upset and you may feel like, oh, somebody's doing this and it's you doing this to you. You know if this reading resonates, if you're with somebody and you know, well, SG, I, I do like them. You know, there's no love here. There's, there's, there's nothing here, but you've created a, a, a means to stay with this person for whatever reason. And that's causing spiritual blockage on you. Your money is looking funny. Let's clarify expectation. I shame. You're going to you're going to get a confirmation of this reading in the month of October, and that's the second week. I feel like you're you're focused on trying to. You're focused on something, but, okay, you want a new opportunity with somebody. You're watching somebody else. You want a new opportunity, but you're not going after this new opportunity for whatever reason this may be. Expectation. You have the Six of Swords in reverse, the Six of Pentacles, and the Magician. So, like, like, for you, it's like you're going to stay in this situation and keep giving to it and just manifest what you want. Or there's no forward movement with something. But you're still giving to it or you're wanting someone to give in to you. You do have the magician here. You could be trying to, to <laughs> use your wand to make it work. <laughs> Let's clarify distant horizons. I say, I'm going to clarify this reading because I need to know what y'all are doing, Sash. What is up? There's no movement to something that you're giving to, no movement in your finances. Like, something is just not going, and you could be trying to manifest this to work. Manifest an outcome when it comes to your finances. Manifest something to look a little different. <laughs> Distance Horizon, Dev Card, Eight of Swords. I feel like, Sagittarius, if you don't change, Spirit is going to intervene. It's Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, so in a distance, distant horizon, like, there's going to be a shift here, all right? You have the death card here, Scorpio's energy, an ending for a new beginning. Somebody that, that, that could have removed their energy or just could be isolated, no communication because they're resting here. They could, this could be you, like, finally realizing, like, hey... It's nobody, it's nobody, you know, like, like I'm, I'm feeling like the, the heavy energy of you feeling like somebody is doing something to you and you are doing it to yourself. <laughs> but eventually you're going to remove yourself from this situation and then see how things start to turn around from you. But with this card here, be mindful, like Sagittarius, this is your shit. Now, this is a Gemini's card, but the, the magician, you know, using your wand, doing what you got to do, this is your energy. You come... You're going to juju <laughs> some shit, right? But at the same time, while you're doing what you're doing, keep in mind, I don't care what you've been taught. and Yeah, it's not going to come back. It's coming back. There's no way for you to get around karma. So be mindful of that. When you guys think that somebody's doing something to you and then you automatically take off and go do something to somebody else and then that shit comes back on you even harder because now you're, you're causing spiritual blockage on yourself. Right? Because something here, there's, there's a connection that you don't want, but you're staying in it for the sake of a child. But you're doing stuff or sending stuff out or having somebody do something in your on your behalf, thinking somebody's sending something to you, and they're not. This is you. So now you're getting the shit that you're putting out back, plus you are getting blocked from this. I don't know. 
Okay, let's clarify the Queen of Swords, aren't she? <sighs> Queen of Swords is clarified by the Ten of Swords in reverse and the Four of Cups. You want to resurrect something or someone wants to resurrect something with you. Let's clarify the four of cups. But you don't see, like, you don't see this as a gift. You don't see, like, this person trying, you don't see this person as, as, as something here happening in your favor. All right? <sighs> Judgment card. Boom. There's a judgment here. There's an apology that's going to be given. There's an awakening here. Judgment, fire, energy. Feel like you're going to have that judgment come the top of the month. There's going to be some type of communication. There could be an apology being given. Okay, let's clarify the Queen of Cups in reverse, Ashe. Someone here is really overthinking this. Someone is like some that that they can have a child. You want a child with this person? Empress and the Three of Wands. Like this person is not giving love. You're not giving love. But you feel like, okay, this is an empress and you're anticipating on this to come back around. This person can make you very happy. You could want to have a child. This is the fertility card. You could want to have a child with this person. Let's clarify the high priestess in reverse, okay? Okay. Someone removed their energy, but the cycle is not over. Like, the high priestess, hangman in your head, queen of wands in reverse. Yeah, doing juju. As I just said, doing juju, queen of wands in reverse. Somebody here is doing some juju, and it ain't them. It's you, Sag. You, you're doing it, or you're going to somebody to get it done. <laughs> yes. You're not seeing things from a different point of view. You could be doing juju on somebody because they, they removed their energy from, me, from you. That's stupid. Let's clarify the King of Pentacles in reverse, Sasha. Okay? This person could have children. Like you, you King of Pentacles in reverse. If this is their energy, like you're trying to slow up their bag, it's not happening though. Ace of Pentacles in the Nine of Wands. You resilient as hell. Like you are resilient at, at, at stopping somebody's bag. So you're gonna find out something. <laughs> you're gonna find out something here. There's going to be a conversation. You're going to find out something. You're going to realize that you was acting out of pocket. Maybe you feel like this person is doing something to you. In all fairness, let me give you that. Maybe you feel like this person is doing something to you. And if you feel like this person is doing something to you, it's kind of like, okay, well, I got to retaliate on my own. You can't do that. Because you done made up assumptions in your head. And so whatever you think about, it makes sense. You can't do that because if you're doing something, this person is not doing anything to you. You're blocking your own self. You're, 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 you're in your head about something here. And it's like you're blocking yourself. Like you've made this shit up. Okay, let's clarify the let's clarify the six of swords in reverse. Ashe. October is going to be an awakening month for you, Sag. Because this shit is all coming back. Queen of, Sword, Queen of Swords here again. It's all coming back. There's no forward movement. Someone's burdened. Somebody has a lot on their plate. Someone's like, okay, they don't want to work together. Right? Someone doesn't want to work at this anymore. Let's clarify the Six of Pentacles. You're burning and you're like, okay, it's going to pan out. It's not going to pan out because of what you're doing. <laughs> Six of Pentacles. Wanting to get, come on, there you go again. It's the star card. It's Aquarius energy. 
You feel like somebody doesn't want to play games with you anymore or somebody doesn't want to be in a third party situation anymore. You don't want to be in that energy. But you want to give into a situation where you want this person to give to you without the conflict. You want things to move forward without conflict. If you're doing juju on somebody, you could be trying to humble them or like make them come in to need you or something like that. Like all wrong. <laughs> The high priestess is in reverse. Like, you don't do any of that. Like, you're not going to flourish that way because what you're going to do is push this person further away from you. Especially if they're an air sign. Okay? I, I do know Aquarius and Gemini. This person is Aquarius or Gemini. You're pushing this person further away from you. This person is a heel Gemini, especially. You're... You're messing up that because they're the, the Aquarius is the I know sign, so they can for they can see for it, right? And so if they're if they're um, aligned spiritually, you know what I'm saying? If they are healed, like they're egg goon goon and they're ori and they know how to listen, like they're not even gonna allow you to come back in their space because of what you're doing. You gotta like right your wrongs and then move forward or whatever. Like it's not going to work because. You playing with an air sign. It's not a competition. Like maybe you feel like this person is in competition, or you're trying to make this person buy down to you, or something. Like it, it, it's not gonna work. Let's clarify the magician. I say this is crazy. It's like you're trying to manifest something, or you're trying to make something happen, but you're the one. <laughs> You're the one that's flighty. You're the one that does the ghosting. You're the one that's in and out. You're the one that's not aligning. Two of Pentacles in reverse, page of page of uh, wands in reverse. Like you're the one that's not balanced. You're the one that's not communicating. There's no passion on your end. You're the one that's not going through the awakening here. You. You're thinking someone is doing something to you because you don't want them dead. How <laughs> go? You may feel like, okay, I don't want them, so they're trying to do something to me, and it's not. You're causing your own blockage and spiritual blockages in your life because you're a part of shit that you don't even want to deal with. It's nothing that nobody's doing to you. And it's here in the card. So you're going to be dealing with this in October. So whereas you feel like, okay, like, like, like what I'm hearing is like something is going to come through for you. And then it's going to fall apart because of what you're doing or what you have done. You got to make this right. Now, I can tell you how to make it right, but I'm not. You got to make this right. Like, so the same way that it's easy for you to go either do juju or find somebody to do juju, ju ju blah, 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 do juju for you. You need to find somebody to help you make this right. Because that's the only way that you're going to avoid the karma that's behind this is if by making it right. This is all wrong. Okay, let's clarify the death card, Ashe. Well, no, we don't need to clarify the death card. So there's a change in the distant horizon. Something is, okay, let's clarify the death card, Ashe. There's a change that's happening. By the end of the month, like, I'm telling you what I'm telling you now, you will realize what's happening by the end of the month. With the death card, seven of pentacles in reverse, nine of cups. So whereas you weren't giving to something, you weren't investing in something, nine of cups, there's somebody going in with an offer somewhere, okay? Let's clarify the eight of swords, I say. Somebody's coming in like, okay, maybe you're you're getting this confirmation here. You're getting the confirmation that like this person was not doing anything to you the whole time, boom. But like I just told you, it's not going to work. So you've been doing all of this BS to this person and then now you want to go back in and make something right you're walking in like okay whatever they're not gonna know it's me da, da, da. this person listen our ori your ori your head right the orisha that governs you that governs you know that that has gone with you from 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 soul to soul from from lifetime to lifetime right this orisha that can foresee your future and your egg gun gun your ancestors the whom have crossed over whom are with you they foresee shit for you so a lot of people don't know that and if you are not in tune with that, you don't have to go by your own, you know, your own judgment. No, go within. Allow them to guide you. You're going to take a blind leap of faith to go and give back into this situation. And boom, you're going to be met with a tower moment yet again. Because this person is going to be removed. Like, their egg goon is not going to allow you to get into them until you correct what you've done. Like, nobody's perfect, right? And we ought to learn from your mistakes. But you're going to try to go into this person by the end of the month. 
Tower, Queen of Swords, and the Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. You're going to try to go into this person. But they're still reserved. Or some of you guys are realizing like this person still hasn't come back. Or if you extend and offer love to them, they're not open to it. And boom, there's a tire moment. Sudden ending with them trying to be on the same shit over and over again. Some Whoever this is, you're a messed up person. You have a problem. <laughs> it's you. And you wonder why you keep being met with so many different obstacles in life. It's because you have a problem. You can't make someone be with you. You can't just assume someone is sending something your way. Okay, like whoever you're going to talk to. Just imagine if you're going to talk to somebody and, act, and then they, you ask them, okay, is this person sending something? And they know this person. They don't like this person. They, you know, they're giving wrong information. Like somebody could be sending something to you and you're not direct, right? And you're assuming that it could be this person and it's not. So you're like, okay, well, let me mess your shit up. Since you, you know, oh, none of that goes back. Because listen, um, for the cross watchers out here, not energy is fluid. So this could be somebody doing this to you. Sag, but whoever it is is a messed up person energy is fluid somebody sending something to you put your hands up put your hands up don't send it back don't do nothing let your egg goon goon see this is why you're supposed to be in tune with your egg goon goon and your ori you let them fight that for you let, send it let it wear out let it do whatever it's doing right do what you got to do for yourself keep yourself protected keep yourself grounded keep your appeasements going and do what you got to do till it blows over and the reward from that the reward that's promised to you from that is that you will go to a uh, to a whole new level. That whatever's coming in for you is going to be on, on on such a grand scale because you did not fall for the trap. Like you did not meet their energy. This person is going to have to deal with this solely by themselves. It can be a self gratification mode when you try to slow something up or you see something happen in somebody's life. But look, your life isn't even right. So with your life not being right and you not having the things that you want to have, like, man, come on. It's going to stay going that way. So you, so whoever's sitting it, they're, they're going to stay in a whirlwind of keep having all of these issues happening. Whoever's not returning it to them and letting it run its course or do whatever it is that's not paying attention to it, you're ascending to another level. So this little change that they're trying to stop in your behavior, in your in, on your behalf, it doesn't even matter because the bag going to be too big. They can't even touch you. You're going to another level here. Let's clarify the four of swords, okay? Like, whoever this is, is like, <laughs> you got to be mindful of who you get wrapped up into, man. Just I, just right now, so many people are doing things that, that they have no business doing, right? Because even in the tradition where, where we know how to do what we're doing, we don't, we don't do that. We don't, you're not... Mm, there are some people that do, but no, you don't send juju at anybody. You just don't. Like, you have to believe. You can't take matters in your own hand. You have to believe, you know, in your egg goon goon. Okay, so boom. Yeah, I just told you. What I just told y'all, bro? What did I just tell y'all? In the distant horizon, by the end of October, whatever this is that's going on, I feel like you're going to see a shift now. Okay, you're going to see a shift. But by the end of the month, whatever's going on, Boom, you're rising above it. With your four of swords here, six of wands, magician in reverse, and the six of swords. You're moving past it. You're going to be successful whether this person is going to realize that it's not you all along. They're going to get some type of confirmation, okay? But the magician in reverse, this shit is going to be removed from you, okay? And you're moving forward. You're not worried about it. Boom, here you go. <laughs> Chariot. Chariot, baby, you handling your business. So, again, whatever this is, like, don't worry about it. Don't give them the benefit of the doubt to interact with them. I don't care who tell you what. To take it from SG. You know the stuff I be telling y'all. Y'all be like, SG, no, nah, you tripping because, and then you come back and be like, SG, you was right. Man, listen, I'm not going to guide you wrong. Whatever this is right here, let this person deal with these demons themselves. Your egg goon goon is going to protect you to where you may see it, but you don't worry about it. The, the work that they doing is far greater than any work that you could do to send back. I assure you of that. I assure you of that. Just because you know how to use how to use juju don't mean that you do juju on people. And I can give you this because, yeah, I know juju. It's a part of our culture. But we don't send it at people. <laughs> we don't send it at people. That's not our That's not our duty. Message for us to play with Sagittarius. I should I do this. We clear our way. We do. We clear our way. 
This relationship will take some effing effort. Love is a verb, not a noun. But don't forget self-care, okay? So I just feel like somebody here is just really in their feelings because something is not working. Or you walked away or they walked away from you and they're feeling some type of way. Ooh, child. This was messy. Keep the happy, keep the happy shit moments alive by doing small acts of kindness daily. Okay? Lead with love. It's my favorite saying. Yes, you can work through the shitty challenges. The ugliest outhouse still gets the job done. So whatever it is, okay? Some of you guys may not even know that this person is sent it, the one that's sending it, you know, X, Y, and Z. Your egg on going is not going to allow you to align with this person anymore. Your egg on, like, you probably don't even feel the same way about this person. Or if this person crossed your mind and you're like, oh, I wonder what they're doing. And then the, 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 the energy, like, dissolves quickly. Like, go with the flow. Don't force anything. Like, your egg on going is going to keep you protected at all times. And your ori is going to, your ori is going to keep you aligned. Your ori, your head, okay? You're going to stay aligned like, and i'm getting chills by saying this like oh my god you're gonna stay aligned with whatever you need to be aligned with okay so there's nothing that no one can do to you that makes you feel like oh okay well how do i get around that let them do what they do baby because <laughs> what's for you will be i assure you all right so let's see let me get you these next two cards and Someone has withdrawn and it is causing some effing issues. Didn't I tell y'all that? Somebody withdrawn, like this person could be playing mind games and you're not going with the mind games with them and you're just like, it is what it is. Man, listen, somebody's mad. Watch your addictive behaviors or substance abuse. You didn't cause it and you can't effing cure it. Watch for addictive behaviors and substance, substance abuse. It's not you. Watch for it. Okay. So if somebody here has some issues and they're in their head and they're overthinking. Somebody is messed up. There's nothing that you can do about this with this particular person. But let them have their time, have their light, and move the hell out of their way. <laughs> if you like a personal reading, click the description box below. My website is there. Um, you can book me on my website. I shame.